This is Roy Dimshreth, CSCP Lecture 14, Transport Management System. The material is based on CSCP preparation. First of all, I request all of you to subscribe my channel so I get just get some motivation and I just work hard. So thank you guys. Uh, please support me with that. Okay, let's go to the transport management system. This is very critical right now in the field of supply chain because you know e-commerce is you know that has a, has a lot of growth and you know potential to grow in you know in countries where i live and where you are living so you have to be more perfect and you have to be cost effective and you have to be you know you will give a good transportation services to your customers very critical for everybody to know about that especially who are in the supply chain field let's go for the definition the rough part is a computer application system designed to manage transportation operations these systems typically offer modules focused on a specific function such as intermodal transportation import export management fleet management and load and planning optimization let's discuss for the concept and i just want you to stay with me please guys so let's go for the concept Let's go for the basic concept of TMSAs. What is the transport management system? So um, look at the fig look at the picture. The, you know, there's a TMS control tower. Then we have a distribution warehouse in 25 kilometers away from New York City, and we have a manufacturer 800 kilometers from the warehouse. So again, the concept is that we have to ship the stock from Toronto 800 kilometers in a warehouse that is 25 kilometers away from New York City and then we have to ship this stock to the customer who is somewhere in the New York City refrigerators maybe we think so that we can transfer it let's go let's go like we work on how it work like on which logics is working so Let's go for the concept of TMS. What the TMS do? Look at the picture. There's a software TMS as a control tower. So every information it has, it is integrated with your website. So you got an online order from the customers living in New York, and they're giving like order total order of like 500 units. And there may be 500 customers. They're asking for the 500 units of certain model of refrigerator. So this information is, you know, passed on to the, uh, you know, manufacturer and, you know, first to see it made like what sort of vehicle will be used. It said, you know, 800 kilometers, we need a big vehicle that is already is in its database. So by in artificial intelligence, it will make make first the scene is to choose the type of vehicle. So it's, it has chosen like 40 feet. Uh, vehicle because it's a long distance we need a big vehicle to save the cost and uh, so uh, second thing is that it will it will uh, communicate with the vendors you have like five vendors in your uh, TMS database so it will select the vendor with the lowest price uh, if it is in your you know selected vendors in your database it's if it's open so there are portals which are uh, integrated with your tms you can go for the online procurement you may get a 300 dollars or 350 dollars container you so you give go for the minimum uh you know a minimum uh cost and you know all things are getting stored in the database so it, it make it more intelligent so you, the vendor profile is also making and you, you know we can understand that this vendor is good based on its delivery time so the next thing it will take it uh, when it is reached the new york warehouse then it also converts into the number of vehicles uh, maybe and type of vehicles maybe we need a mini truck to deliver it into the uh, to the customers so it converts it uh, the, the sales into number of you know mini trucks there may be 25 minute trucks required to ship in the new york city so all these decisions are made through artificial intelligence from the tms software and 
further things you know tms do a lot of other stuff like it uh, you know give you the online tracking you can customer can check have the visibility to see where the stock is from canada to new york and then from the new york to to the new york city so all thing is visible to the manager to the to the warehouse to everybody you know everybody uh know the information about the transit time so um it do the route planning like for example it will it will plan based on the gps location the um the route that can save the you know fuel expenses with less distance and uh you need to travel less distance this is also through the artificial intelligence other thing it do the real time tracking manifesting is the documentation making like the, it, they will be like bills based on the information the invoice will be made like on the point number serial number 6 of the table uh no 10 of the table you can track uh you can make the invoice in real time you can uh check the pod proof of delivery in the real time so everything is in the real time so you are going in the real time let's go if you want to purchase a tms software either you are shreyo or you have direct supply chain so you need to consider five key factors in the supply chain number one is visibility like your vehicles movement like your uh primary shipment movement like your own fleet movement everything should be visible to the persons in the center like in the center of organization now have make the standards and it should be you know uh, give more control of uh to the you know to the company who is buying this one next one is like integration between the transportation planning and order fulfillment increase control increase cost control customer satisfaction and automation so they should be linked like for example uh you make a shipment plant shipment uh, plan of 500 refrigerators and when ever that is received by the customer so we will you know able to know that through automation that how much time it will take and what improvement we can make so it should be integrated between the transportation planning and order fulfillment so uh, this is this is also critical execution control ensure that the plan is being followed so whoever is controlling the software make sure and because the, it is visible you can see that how much it time takes to uh you know reach the warehouse uh, reach the stock to the warehouse so this is this is the uh who uh, for the people who are executing the uh you know there should be control on the execution so we can get the better results so you you need to make sure the plan is being followed fifth is automation increase efficiency reduce errors integration tms will uh start from the conveyor system automatically making bills can uh, converting in documentation to pdf file uh, international shipments so thank you very much hope you have uh, i was tired hope you hope you have liked the